Hey guys, it's George from Jorge Araujo Photography. My name is Jorge. Everybody calls me George. You can call me whatever you want. All right, so I just want to do something today. Um, you guys may or may not know, I own a Canon 60D. Um, it's a great camera, actually. I love this camera. I've had it for a while, and it performs great, it's fast. The images are great. Um, I have no complaints. There's many reviews. If you want to see a review about it, go ahead and watch it. I don't do unboxing videos. Don't really like unboxing videos. I mean, what? what, what why do an unboxing video? There's a camera, there's wrapping paper, there's warranties, there's paperwork. Who cares, right? Just show me the product, review it. That's fine. I love reviews. Hate boxing videos, unboxing videos. So that's my rant for the day. Um, actually, what I wanted to do today is a couple of things. Um, one, I just want to let you guys know that I bought a Sigma 70 to 200 2.8 uh, lens. <laughs> HSM, APO, macro, EX. It's got a bunch of letters. Um, so far, the shots I've taken with it have been really great. Um, performing great, fast. Um, accurate focus, sharp pictures, no complaints about it yet. I haven't really put it through the test. I just got it. Bought it over at Alan's Camera on a recommendation from Jared Poland from Frodo, Frodo's Photo. So, uh, great deal. Amazing deal. Check it out. Alan's Camera. I'll put a link in the description or even on the screen right now. All right. Now, today's video. What I wanted to do is I took, actually I took it with that lens, but I wanted to do an ISO noise test for my camera. Everybody talks about how great it is, and uh, some people say, you know, after, I don't know, I've read all kinds of things, after 800 ISO you should never use your camera. I disagree with that. Uh, I don't mind noise. If you see some of my photography, you'll see that I actually add noise. I love noise, um, especially in black and whites. But So what I did today is I took uh, the camera and the lens out and took some shots and set up a, a little flower and a gray background um, and just shot it at all the different ISOs. Um, just wanted to show you kind of what I got out of it. I cropped in uh, to the picture a little bit so we could get it full screen on my computer at 100%. Um, but I won't go over 100% for this picture just because I think it's ridiculous to go over 100%. Uh, you'll never see it bigger than that unless you're printing these enormous banners and then at that point you're going to have to do some correction and stuff. But let's take a look at it, all right? So let's bring it up here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of everything, put this at 100%. Actually, let me check and see if that's 100%. Uh, yes, that's 100%. Okay, so here's the image. All right, so I shot this flower, um, getting a little... Uh, the highlight right here, I got a little bit of a problem. I didn't actually correct the files at all. I just wanted to bring them straight in from the camera. So we can get just kind of an accurate test. All I did was add the ISO. So this is it at ISO 100. The noise looks, um, there's no noise there actually. Um, let's look at ISO 200. This is ISO 200. Uh, you know, I can't really say yes. I guess there's a little noise in there, but not enough to even bother. ISO 400 still looks great. I actually shoot a lot at ISO 400. It's one of my favorite. ISO 400 and 800 are two of my favorites. I love the amount of grain it actually puts in the images because like I said I do like noise and I like grain. Um, here's ISO 800 so yeah see ISO has got a little bit more noise but still a clean sharp picture. Um, ISO 1600 now we're starting to see a little bit more noise but you know what? I have no problem with it. Uh, some of my best pictures, some of my favorite pictures, I shouldn't say my best pictures, some of my favorite pictures that I've taken of my dogs and stuff have been at ISO 1600 and ISO 3200 actually. So, you know, this is kind of misleading because we're looking at it really big. You never actually look at these files this big. Like, I mean, if I was to print this out, this is like a 24, my screen is a 24 inch screen and we're at almost max here. So. Like, you would actually look at this more along the lines of this. This is like an 8x10 right here. And this is an 8x10 of a zoomed-in part of this image. 
Um, right? So this image, this part of the image on an 8x10 would probably be about that big. Right? So the ISO is misleading. Okay? The, the noise when you blow it up like this is really misleading. So, you know, here's 32, which is very interesting because it it's different than, sorry, this is, that's 32. It's di different than 1600. 1600 actually looks like it's got more, but I, I don't know. I think I just got, it, it just got a better contrast on 1600 when I took the shot, I guess. Um, but 32 seems fine, and even 6400. Look at that. The noise at 6400 is, I mean, all of this is usable. Look at this. When you look at it this size, you can't even see the noise. Now, granted, this is shot on a cloudy, overcast day with a lot of light. So, um, of course, if you're shooting in the dark, it's going to be a little different. But, man, these files look outstanding in on these cameras. You know, like, I just, I, I just, it's, it's amazing. The noise at high ISOs on these cameras is great. You know, I didn't take, um, it's funny because I, I couldn't take, the Canon 60D has ISOs 100 to 6400 standard with third third stop increments, and it also has a high, which is basically shooting at, what, 12,800, but um, I didn't want to change the f-stop. I didn't want to change the aperture of my camera while I was taking these shots. And if I put my ISO that high, I couldn't get my exposure. Like, because the camera only shoots at one eight thousandth, eight thousandth of a second. And when I shot at ISO 6400, it shot at one eight thousandth of a second. And um, I couldn't go any higher unless I changed something, but I didn't want to change it for the test. Uh, so, you know, I was pretty, pretty amazed by these, this noise, the noise on these, like I said, the noise is spectacular in these cameras. You know, obviously you do see some noise, but I mean, this is 6400 ISO. And the noise is completely acceptable. You know, all the charts, the DP review and the popular photography says that you should never take a picture over 1600 on this camera. Actually, it says over 800, I think. Um, I think 60, 1,600, it says that it's getting really low, and then 32 and 64, it says unusable. I disagree. Look at this thing. Just outrageous. You know, just, if we were to turn it into a black, ooh, that's interesting. If we were to turn it into a black and white image, uh, here we go. Look at that. Uh, and that's without any, like, anything, really. I mean, I didn't do anything to it here. But... We're talking about an image that just looks great. I have no contrast on this yet, but um, here, let me just see if I can throw in some contrast and brightness. But look at it. I mean, the image just looks great. It looks amazing. I don't know about these ISO tests. I'm shooting super high ISO. I'm shooting 3200 and 6400 all the time. 1600 is my favorite, 800 is my favorite, obviously, because of the grain pattern, but 1600 I shoot all the time. I wish I had a picture, actually, let me see if I can find a picture of my dog um, that I shot, I think, at 3200. Mm, where would I have that picture? Uh, let, me, let me pause this for a second, let me get the picture, and I'll come right back. I'm back. All right, so I got this picture of my dog, Echo, who has passed away, um now but this is a picture I took uh, maybe a year ago and I was using my Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 and this is shot at ISO 3200 actually let me see if I can see the exit data uh, I don't even know how to see the exit data file info um, yeah uh, PC camera data. All right, so this was shot at um, 1 one hundredth of a second at f2 at 3200 IPM with my 50 millimeter 1.8. Just inside my apartment, you know, middle of the day, I guess, or maybe actually it was a Sunday morning, I think and it was. The sun was coming in and, um, and I shot this picture. Now, let's take a look at it close up. So, 
shot this picture. Look at the noise in this. Look at the green. This is shot at 3200 ISO. And you can see some noise, but my God, are you ever going to look at a picture this big? Probably not. You know, you know this is like, you're going to look at this image maybe this size, right? Okay, so let's go a little bigger. This, maybe you'll look at it at this size. Maybe you've got a print that's like, you know, nice size print. Amazing. I mean, 3200 ISO I shot this. And to this day, it's one of my favorite pictures. Um, and I don't know. I just, this lens, I mean, I'm sorry, this camera um, does a great job. I have no complaints. And the... The um, it performs amazingly. So, if anybody tells you don't shoot over 800 ISO, tell them be nice about it. Just say, I'll do what I want to do. <laughs> okay, so that's all I wanted to say. Maybe I'll have some. I'll have some. Uh, I'm gonna do some tests with this the Sigma, which um, I can't wait to actually really test it out. I want to do some. Uh, bokeh tests some DOF tests see how it handles uh, I did some shots today and it blurs out everything really big uh, really great so wait for that video and uh, subscribe you know if you like these videos subscribe I have some great tutorials um, we'll be doing more tutorials I'm gonna have some some new uh, segments coming up I have some ideas for some new idea for some new segments that I want to be doing on both Photoshop editing, Lightroom editing, and photography itself. So stay in touch and subscribe. Thank you.